Boys, what the hell is this, man? I Look at my hair. I literally just got out of a, a, a little nap. Gian's pinging me on Discord. The ban list is already out. This is one of the fastest ban lists we've ever gotten for Duel Links. I didn't even get to do my ban list prediction video. So we're going to do that here real quick because I haven't seen the ban list yet. I, I literally just jumped out of bed to do it. I, uh, I was going to say Burning Abyss, obviously, going to get banned. I think a lot of the older cards are going to get banned, not the newer ones. Probably a limit two, if I had to guess. Uh, and then DDD, I'm expecting a skill change, potentially. Those were going to be... I mean, I was going to have like a whole 10-minute video, but more or less, that was going to be what I was going to say. But... Here we are, whatever, man. Ban list is here. That was really, really fast. Um, oh, and also the new structure deck came out, but who gives a shit? Ban list time. Let's get into it. We'll get into the skill rebalancing afterwards. Let's look at the implementation. Oh, what the fuck? Savant Thomas going to a hard limit one which is crazy and i can see that savant kepler at two as well kepler makes sense because that's an older card well it's, it's not that old it's actually wave two support uh from the structure deck um but savant thomas just came out even if it's a rare just came out wow i did not expect that and already getting massive ddd hits here savant kepler at two savant thomas is what lets them get that third level eight out Savant Kepler, it makes the deck extremely consistent. So I guess we're not going to get uh, skill changes because this is already pretty spicy. Uh, limit three cards. We've got Skill Prisoner going to limit three. A couple of Burning Abyss players were using uh, this to to send to the graveyard to protect themselves from monster effects. Um, so I'm assuming we're going to see up. There it is. Farfa. They're, they're going the limit three route with this. So now you can't play Skill Prisoner and the Farfa. Uh, you can only play the Farfa in your Burning Abyss deck. Now, I'm going to be honest, Skill Prisoner, while it opens them up to being hit with, like, you know, Necros cards and stuff, with Bur it feels like BA got sev or, uh, not as much of a bad hit compared to DDD. DDD is <laughs> some brutal shit that they just took down. Uh, Kep Savant Kepler, you know, with the contract, they still have, you know, two, three contracts, two Savant Keplers, but they also need Kepler for their skill. Savant Thomas is like a rough hit, I feel. Um, this hit is not so bad. That just makes it so they can't play the Skill Prisoner and then any other limit three cards they can't play alongside the Farfa. Uh, Fusion Reserve coming off the uh, list. A little bit of Invoke support there. I think this is too slow for Invoked at this point. And that's it. Yeah, they literally just hit Burning Abyss and they hit DDD, the two decks that I figured they would hit. Wow, wow, wow. We'll see how that changes up the game. Skill rebalancing. Let's see what they do here. Uh, oh my god, they are going to change Command of the Doom King. Oh, wow. As the popularity and win rate of DD deck is rising, the we the potential to make the metagame stale. True, we're giving the skill, the support that these decks, uh, a harder activation condition. And then Battle Ancient Gear is also getting changed too. All right. At the beginning of the duel, add Pendulum Zones to your field. The following effect can only be used once per duel. Select the DDD Doom King Armageddon from your hand and add it to your extra deck face up. Then select one DD Pendulum Monster from your field and deck respectively and place them into your Pendulum Zones. Okay, there you go. Then negate their effects until the end of the, uh, this turn. The skill can only activate and be used if you begin the duel with a deck excluding extra deck that contains at least five ddd pendulum monsters okay so that's the big change you have to use uh five of them instead of three ddd uh pendulum monsters so i wonder which ones they're gonna bring in obviously there's um you know Ma maxwell that was taken out could come back there's um there's ogre there's 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 a lot of options so it's not terrible but this does look like they're setting up for a, a, a ba king metagame i don't think ddd can hang on with all these changes is like being on top when ba didn't really lose that much <laughs> so uh battle ancient gear each of the following effects can be used once and twice uh once per turn twice per duel during this turn you can normal summon set ancient gear golem or ancient gear golem ultimate pound without tributing if you control ancient gear golem set a polymerization from your field outside of your deck uh, at the end of phase of this turn, return that card to the bottom. The skill can be used to begin duel. Next deck contains 12 lower ancient gears. Okay, so you can play ancient gear, you know, fusion memes. Uh, not really relevant to the metagame. Uh, wow, yeah. What are we thinking about this ban list, boys? Tell me down in the comment down below. I think this is crazy because DDD, I don't really know if they deserve to get hit this hard. This feels a little, a little excessive. Losing Savant Thomas down to one makes you also lose other limit ones. Kepler to two will, you know, decrease your consistency. And then with the skill change, you also have to put other cards into your deck 
that you weren't going to put in the first place, lowering your consistency even further. While Burning Abyss, I don't really feel like they got hit at all. They just lost Skill Prisoner, which was a great card. Don't get me I'm not I'm not here to tell you the Skill Prisoner was a shit card or anything. But ultimately we've seen them play without this card. They just hard lose to shit like Necross, so you know, uh, unless Necross is about to come into the metagame, that's not critical to them. Um, so there you go. Those are the changes. Uh, we're going to have a, a Duel Links tournament this Friday. So if you want to see these uh, changes in action, be there or be squared. Uh, that's pretty much all I have. Whew, I cannot wait. This is exciting times for Duel Links. We'll see if the new mini box does anything. Or I'm sorry. Uh, well, not new mini box, new structure deck. And then later on, uh, mini box as well. That's all I have. I love you guys. Till next time.